Do you wanna grow your YouTube channel faster, but you're getting bogged down with all the editing? Well, today we're gonna be talking about how to edit your YouTube videos faster. Cutting down on your editing time will help free up your time so you can create more videos and grow your channel. Today, we're gonna go over five tips to help you edit your videos faster. And welcome to Entrepreneur's Toolbox. My name is Jonathan Dunkerley, and I'm here to help you find the tools to build income online. When you start creating content for YouTube, you will quickly realize that one of the most time consuming parts is editing the video. Some of my videos took me longer to edit than the rest of creating the video combined. But until you're able to hire an editor, there's a few tips to make your editing faster so you can make more videos faster. So you'll have more time to do what's really important to you. So let's dive right into the first tip. So without a strong foundation, you're setting yourself up for failure. You can't build a great building on a weak foundation. This isn't a building, but it still applies. So the first tip is to plan your videos. You could do this in different ways, but it always starts with knowing what you're going to talk about before you press record. This could be something as simple as taking your points you want to go over and creating bullet points, or you can go the opposite extreme and script your entire video. Basically do what's best for you, but having a clear plan doesn't just make it easier while you're recording your video, but since you have less mistakes, you won't have as much footage to go through. And just going through the footage to find the clips that you like can be the most time consuming part of editing. Having that foundation before you hit record is a game changer. Now, whether your video is planned out well or not, you will make mistakes. I guarantee you're gonna make mistakes. You don't wanna see all the mistakes I make recording my videos or even this video for that matter. But until you, say the right phrase, but until you're able to hire an, uh, I can't speak. But until you're able to hire an editor, if you mess up and you will, take a breath, find your place, and start from the beginning of your last sentence or thought. Don't get flustered if you mess up. Remember, this video is going to be edited. Don't just pick up on the word that you messed up on. Go back to the beginning of your last thought and do it until you get it right. It's okay to make these mistakes. I seriously make mistakes all the time. So for my next tip, I wanted to ask you a question. Do you ever get distracted? You tell yourself you're going to get something done, some work done, and instead you spend an hour watching YouTube videos or anything else that might get in the way of you being productive. So if you eliminate distractions while you're editing or any other productive task, you will be able to be laser focused on that one thing. Personally, the internet is my greatest enemy while editing. You know, YouTube binges or Wikipedia binges or things like that. But things I do to avoid doing these things, I put my phone in another room. If I can't reach my phone, I can't use it. I know I waste a lot of time every single day on my phone. And for phones and computers, I turn off my notifications. I don't need every app update or email notification distracting me every five minutes. Or better yet, turn off your Wi-Fi or unplug the internet. I think you're seeing a trend for me here. If it's not the internet for you, then do whatever you need to do to remove these distractions for you. Another small tip to not get distracted is to set a timer. Commit to that work time, and after you're done, you could turn back on the internet or whatever you've done to stay focused. If you're getting value out of this video, be sure that you smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified every time that a new video goes live. Now, the next tip may seem a little bit simple, but I can't stress how important it is. Earlier, we talked about planning your videos, but as you start to make more videos, you'll start to use a lot more digital elements. So the fourth tip is to have all of these elements or assets in one place so you can easily reference them with every edit. So what do I mean by digital elements or assets? I mean music, animations, sound effects, lower thirds, overlays, anything that you use in every single video. Basically anything that you are going to use in every video, keep it in this folder. This may seem simple, but having this one folder can drastically cut down on how much time it takes to organize your edit. Also, if you ever decide to hire an editor, they will be able to easily recreate your style with all the digital assets and elements. If you did want to hire an editor, I dropped a link to the service that I used to edit this video in the description of this video. But personally, I'd learn a little bit about editing before I hire it out so you know what you want. For my fifth tip, I wanted to talk a little more about staying focused. There are a lot of different steps while editing, but 
editing the video all the way through before you start to fine tune will make a huge difference. So for example, you'd cut out all the fluff in your footage and find the clips that you want to use. And you'd have the ones that you like. Then you'd add text, then you'd add the animations, and then you'd add sound effects, then you'd add music and so on and so forth. Every step takes time and energy for you to change gears. The better way is to focus on one step at a time. Go through your footage, pick the clips that you want to use. Then once you have a rough edit, you can do another pass on the video to add the things like text and then another for animation and then another for sound effects and so on. By focusing on one thing at a time, you will not only be able to stay more focused, but it will help you see the bigger picture of your edit as it starts to come together. This is working smarter rather than harder. Now, I actually have one bonus tip for you today. And personally, this one's a hard one for me. I've been a Final Cut user for for years, like a long time. I started testing other editing softwares and found that some of them are just better for editing faster. Two actually really stood out to me. One is called Descript. The biggest selling point Descript had for me was that you can edit with text. Descript creates closed captions from your raw footage and deleting mess ups is as simple as deleting the text in the transcript. Then you add in your text, images, music, sound effects, and so on. I really like Descript because it takes the most time consuming part of editing and makes it super fast and super simple. The other editing software I wanted to mention is called ScreenFlow. I like ScreenFlow because you can record and edit your entire video within one software. You can record your screen, camera, and mic directly into ScreenFlow using your built-in media library and edit all in one place. We were talking about being efficient and this is a great way to do that. Any of these tips will help you edit your videos faster. It's about trying new ways to improve and see what works best for you. What tips and hacks do you use to edit faster? Let us know in the comments. I try to read and reply to as many as I can. If you wanna learn more about growing on YouTube, check out this video next. If you got value, be sure that you like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and I will see you in the next one.